about static stretching and whether static stretching reduces the incidence of injury. We know from research produced back in 1998 and in 2000 by a group of researchers from Queensland University, Pope et al, that uh, in large cohorts or large groups of uh, patients that went through and statically stretched their lower limbs and then they performed high intensity exercise, in fact these were army recruits, we found that it didn't reduce the amount of injury they had over the preceding weeks when they did high intensity exercise. We know that subsequent research um, over the last 20 years has somewhat indicated the same sort of uh, information that it's unlikely that static stretching reduces the incidence of tearing a calf muscle, hamstring, or even uh, sprawling your ankle. So that's that idea in the past that your mum or your dad used to tell you to statically stretch to reduce injury, there is very little research to suggest uh, that's the case. And obviously, combined with the situation that we said that static stretching before exercise can reduce performance, jump for height, and also running times, shows that aggressive static stretching before you do exercise probably isn't that useful in reducing injury. We also know that static stretching probably has no uh, use in post-exercise recovery. We know that in the past, if you statically stretch after you've done exercise, you won't reduce delayed onset muscle soreness. So you used to stretch, statically stretch after you did exercise to reduce the amount of pain you got in your hamstrings a few days later. It makes no difference to that as well. And po um, a group of researchers uh, have also gone through and shown uh, that that is the case, and I'll put a link at the bottom. So take home message today is that static stretching pre-exercise and even post-exercise makes no difference to reducing injury rates or reducing delayed onset muscle soreness. That's a thought for the day, thanks.